So um, climate change has been a big international issue for many years, a huge debate. Uh, now there's a new report out. Can you tell us uh, in short what it implies? Dr. Stefan Ramsdorf of Germany's Potsdam Institute and Dr. Michael Mann of Penn State University in the U.S. are both former authors of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. At an international conference in Iceland, I caught up with them for a read on the newest Fifth Assessment Report. Twenty-five years ago, the United Nations established an international scientific body known as the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC. Its job is to provide world leaders with the best available information about how climate is changing and what could be done about the problem. The IPCC has issued reports about every six years. Hot off the presses, the latest word on climate change. United Nations report just released in the past hour. Well, the IPCC has ratcheted up uh, the level of confidence that uh, not only is the globe warming, but we know that it is human activity that is responsible for it. They increase the confidence from very likely to extremely likely. In the careful, measured language of peer-reviewed science, Tobacco is extremely likely to cause lung disease. Moreover, they have directly tied that observed warming to detectable changes, increases in sea level. The rise in the global surface air temperature, the rise in the ocean surface temperatures. Melting of ice and increases in various uh, types of extreme weather events. The decline in the snow cover, uh, the increase in atmospheric water content because it's a law of physics that as it gets warmer the water content of our atmosphere increases. We are seeing an unprecedented flood across many parts of the state of Colorado. It was dramatic. When you look outside you say the weather's on steroids. Get used to it. This is the new normal. All of the dangers, all of the changes that they had been predicting have happened on schedule. And in fact, this was predicted before it was observed. You can find a, a report to the President of the United States from dated 1965, because there was an expert report on the effects of CO2 at the time. And you find in the top journals, Nature and Science, you will find in the 1970s the predictions of global warming that are accurate even in the amount up to this date. There was, uh, warming was predicted up to the year 2010 and uh, it has pretty well happened uh, as it was predicted at the time. The news is that a major American scientist has made public his belief that the greenhouse effect for years considered simply a possibility is in fact a reality. This evidence represents a very strong case, in my opinion, that the greenhouse effect has been detected and it is changing our climate now. At hearings in Washington late last month, Dr. James Hansen, a climate expert for NASA, said that the gases our industrial world has hurled into the sky for many decades have indeed stayed in the atmosphere, trapped heat around the Earth and turned our planet into a vast greenhouse. And then he projected forward under three different possible scenarios. After all, one thing Hansen couldn't have predicted is what we would choose to do. We've fallen most closely on the pathway that was envisioned in this middle scenario B. So that's Hansen's prediction of the warming we should have seen given the emissions that we have actually made of carbon into the atmosphere. And that's what the thermometer records show over the ensuing two decades. I would argue a pretty good prediction uh, of the warming, a pretty impressive successful test of a climate model. How have the media covered the new IPCC report? It was pretty good uh, on the whole. Um, there were some examples, there was some misleading uh, coverage. Uh, Fox News, for example, uh, uh, promoted a very uh, misleading segment where they uh, focused instead on a, um, a, a, an unofficial uh, report uh, that you know, is named to sound similar to the IPCC report, the NIPCC report, which is in fact uh, something that's put together from a front group uh, that works for fossil fuel interests. Big issue in the global warming debate is how large is the human impact on climate? And this report shows that it's very small. Joe Bast of the climate contrarian Heartland Institute 
although not a scientist, is no stranger to scientific controversies. Fifteen years ago, on behalf of another set of clients, Mr. Bast argued that smoking has few, if any, adverse health effects. Partly based on clever agenda setting by climate contrarians who are trying to really uh, dilute and confuse the, the message of IPCC and who somehow managed to focus the media interest on a supposed a slowdown or what is even wrongly called a pause in global warming. We've seen that going on. We're going to hear a lot of talk about something called the pause. Let's explain what the pause is and what this controversy is. Notice, since 1950, we've warned about 0.22 degrees Fahrenheit per decade. Notice the steady climb up. But since 1998, we've seen a slower rate in that growth, only 0.09 degrees Fahrenheit per decade. So if we're this huge cause, people are saying, why are we slowing that rate down? Well, they're saying, you need to look at this big picture here. There are previous times within this general trend where we've seen a slowdown and even a decrease. But meanwhile, you've got to pay attention to the big picture. That's what the IPCC wants to say to you. Regardless, that trend is still up, that we are continuing to warm. The IPCC has in the past underestimated important aspects of climate climate change. Uh, for example, sea level rise in the last uh, couple of decades has overtaken uh, the speed, uh, the upper range of previous projections of sea level rise of the IPCC. The loss of the sea ice on the Arctic Ocean has happened much faster than IPCC projected. So there are some clear examples where IPCC got it wrong and got it wrong in the direction of uh, unfortunately underestimating the scale of the problem. Now you can of course debate whether it's a good thing or a bad thing that IPCC reports are conservative, but uh, the most important thing is that you know that it's a conservative so that you understand the IPCC reports in the correct way.